Hi everybody! I'm back with a quick haul from Bath and & Body and I had a couple of coupons that I wanted to go use before they expired and um, I actually had three coupons but the one of them isn't um, valid yet. It doesn't start till the 17th of February. So I want to go ahead and take advantage of the two coupons that I had um, at Bath & Body today. So that is what I'm going to go do. And so right now I'm just going to go ahead and share with you um, some of the things that I picked up at Bath & Body. I, um, this is like the first, I've been buying some of their candles for the past couple of months which has been the first time that I've ever bought their candles. And um, so far I've really, really enjoyed enjoyed all of their candles that they have. Um, some of their scents I'm, you know, not too fond of, but majority of them I are, and a majority of them I am, not are. Hmm. Anyway, so I, um, I wanted to go ahead and start sharing with you uh, some of the stuff that I bought and then I had ordered some stuff from a company called Dirt Tribe and I will also share that with you too as I open up the package for that. So let's go ahead and get started that way this video does not last uh, 19 minutes like my last one did. Okay, the first um, scent that I picked up at Bath & Body was the lemon drops. And um, I love lemon, anything that has lemon in it or lemony or yellow, I, I like. So um, I picked three of these up because the, the, there was three of them for $10. Um, I'm already burning one in the other room and I just brought one out to share. But I did pick up three of these little ones and all the same uh, scent. And um, it is so fresh and so lemony and it, it, it just, um, it smells like those lemon drops that you actually, you can get or buy like little candy lemon drops. So I bought three of these because they were three for $10 and I really, um, I'm really liking the scent so far. All right, the other candle that I picked up, I actually shared on uh, my Fabulously 40s Facebook page yesterday because I saw that they were, um, they, they had posted it on Bath and Body Works Facebook page. So I went ahead and shared it on fabulously 40s page and it was the cinnamon sugared donut candle and I, I it's like you know you just want to like dip your hand in there and lick it or eat it because that's how good it smells and it seriously smells like cinnamon sugared donuts I'm not a huge donut fan I don't eat donuts but um, this I would want to eat because it smells so good so I cannot wait to light this. So I'm really excited. It'll probably make my house smell like cinnamon donuts. And then I'll probably start craving cinnamon donuts, which I don't need because they go straight to my house. Okay, the other um, candle that I picked up was the Frosted Cupcake. And who doesn't like a Frosted Cupcake? And it seriously smells like Frosted Cupcakes. That's one thing I will have to say about Bath & Body is like when I pick up a candle from there and it actually says what it is or what it's supposed to smell like or the scent, it really, really does smell like the scent that they claim that it smells like. I will give them that. It's fantastic. Um, I also like the way that these candles burn. They, they burn... Um, very very slow they're not quick they last a very very long time and i really really enjoy that because if you're gonna you know pay the price for these um which are 22.50 a piece um then you want it to last for quite some time and the candles today they were on clearance or the clearance but they were on sale you buy two for 25 so i thought that was a really really good deal so i went ahead and picked up the two for 25 and then i just picked up an extra one um, the next one I picked up was the raspberry peach, uh, macaroon. And, um, again, like I said, when you smell this, it smells exactly like raspberry peach. And I'm very, very excited to, um, burn this one as well. I think I'm going to have quite, uh, a, I have quite a stock right now because I'm still burning my, um, the one in my bedroom, the, oh crap, can't think of it. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. It's that um, Italian ice cream. Whatever. Anyway, I can't think of it. But anyway, I posted it. I shared it the other day on my Facebook page. The Fabulously 40s. And um, anyway, I liked it. I can't think of the name of it. So anyway, um, the other thing that I picked up was um, I picked up a candle um, holder for the mini candle ones. And so um, I wanted one of these because I just usually kind of lay, lay these around everywhere, but I kind of wanted something to pretty to sit it on. So I went ahead and picked up one of these and it was only $6.50. And um, 
So I went ahead and picked this up and then I picked up a larger one to fit these in there. And that one was $8.50, but I actually already have that other candle burning in it in my bedroom. So I didn't want to dig that candle out. So, um, yeah, so I'm very excited about those. And then um, the last two things that I picked up at Bath & Body were soaps. Um, one soap is scented the Pink Vanilla Macaroon, which almost kind of like that Raspberry Peach Macaroon, but it smells so good. And then the Sweet, uh, excuse me, Lemon Chiffon Tart. And again, anything lemony, I absolutely love. Um, and these just kind of make me happy make me feel like spring's coming and i'm really excited about that so i kind of wanted to get some lighter colors in my house i had been using um some still from the winter time or from december and january that we had kind of still been using they're getting low but i usually just kind of tend to put those away and bring those back out again next year and that's kind of usually what i do if we don't use all of these because i do have several of these laying around um, in our bathrooms and in the kitchen for use so not all of them get used um, within a month's time or within a quick period of time so i just kind of tend to switch them out and then save the ones um, that aren't used for the next season Okay, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the Dirt Tribe order that I that I picked up. Got it right here in my hand, and I wanted to just kind of share with you what I bought from them and um, open it with you guys. Yay! So um, the first thing that I remember ordering was the um, lip balm, and it's the lavender peppermint. And I don't think there's a receipt in here to say how much this stuff was, but um, it is in a cute little bag. I like the little chevron prints, and it's pink. So um, actually, the girl who um, is selling the stuff or making the stuff is a friend of mine that I went to high school with. And um, I just recently, well, when we obviously connected on Facebook, um, I realized that she has this dirt tribe thing. So I went ahead and tried it and uh, ordered a few things from her. And I like the way this smells. It is just, hmm, it's just a lip balm. And these are all like um, organic, healthy uh, for you um, <laughs> products. There we go, there's the word. <laughs> Sometimes I have a brain freeze and I can't think of everything. But I'm really excited about that chapstick. I'll just probably leave it in my purse so it's just another chapstick, even though um, I tend not to, um, you know, shy away too much from my other chapstick that I have, that Nivea. But I'm always, you know, trying something new, so I'm going to go ahead and try that and keep that in my purse. The next thing that I picked up or that I ordered was this soap. And um, let's see, this is a natural, eco-friendly, cruelty-free, down-to-earth products. And you can find, I'll um, link her website at the bottom, that way you guys can go find it. It was very, very reasonable. And I think this is just like a bath soap. It actually, it actually smells really, really good. Um, so I'm excited about using it. Natural and organic soap. They have body butter, lip balm, face cream, sugar scrubs, exotic face masks, aromatherapy oils and eco-friendly laundry soap. Hmm, I like that. So anyway, Dirt Tribe, and I will link her um, information below. But um, like the way that soap smells. And the very last thing that I bought from them, and I kind of remember, um, it's like a, it's a spray that you put, or it's like an oil, I'm sorry, an oil that you kind of sprinkle on your um, bed sheets or something. Yeah, it's a spray that you put on your bed sheets. Looks like it kind of was leaky. Looks like a little leaky. But um, anyway, it's supposed to, it's a Sweet Dreams Pillow Spray, and it's 100% pure essential oil, lavender, and chamomile. And you just spray this on your um, bed sheets or your pillow at night, and it's supposed to just kind of help you relax and, and unwind a little bit before you um, start sleeping. So I'm excited about trying this. I am gonna go wipe it off though, but it does smell really, really good. So, um, Hmm, I'm excited to try it. Alrighty, well, there's my quick little Bath and Body haul and my little Dirt Tribe haul. And like I said, I will go ahead and...